Hey, Taco Compadres, Guy Frijole. We're rolling through beautiful Newhall, California today to check out some flavors exclusively regional on today's episode of The Taco Guys. Hey, Taco Compadres, you're back with The Taco Guys. I'm El Panzón Pelón, freaking gringo más guapo. And my name is Robertito Masquapito. And we're here at Las Originales, a vibrant, suave, and beautiful spot here in Newhall, California, where the menu showcases a plethora of authentic dishes and flavors straight out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Okay, so Taco Padres, you've actually met this family before in a prior episode when we reviewed Guanatos. Tell us a little bit about this place, Las Originales. Sure, we actually opened our first uh, restaurant in 2001. We have four locations now, and here we are in, in Newhall. We have uh, alcohol here. We actually added seafood here also. So it seems like this torta was kind of the phenomenon that kicked all this thing off. So the torta ahogada would just be the bread. Uh, we put beans inside and carnitas. And then the ahogada part is drowned, and we drown it in a tomato sauce. Which of these authentic dishes are we going to get a chance to try tonight? Sure. So we'll be bringing out a torta ahogada, and we're going to have it accompanied with the taco dorado, which also has carnitas on top and drowned in tomato sauce. And we'll also bring out a, a monster taco, which is with the handmade tortilla, beans, the meat, onion, cilantro, cream, guacamole. That one's super delicious. And then lastly, we'll bring out a molcajete, which has several meats and with shrimp and you make kind of your own taco. Okay, hey, thank you again. Well, yeah, thank now you we are guys so for, looking forward to this. Yeah, and thank you guys, your crew and everyone for coming by. Absolutely. Let's freaking do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so here we've got the monster taco. All right, I'm going in. Like he's cradling a baby taco. Wow, look at that, man. It fills up the whole plate. Man, I can't wait to dig into this bad boy. Wow, look at that thing, it's huge. It's a monster. But I'm gonna bite this monster. Mm. As you can see, we've got such a feast here. So much going on. It's hard to nail the pacing. So we gotta dig into this torta al gala. So what I was told is that something very important about these tortas in Guadalajara is the sauce that goes on there. Look at that, man, it looks so damn good. Mm. So you don't want to be a rookie like me and miss out on that sauce. It slaps. This is probably some of the best carnitas you'll ever have. Traditionally, you would get a potato taco to go along with the torta. Many places in Guadalajara apparently stuff the taco in the torta. So beautiful, wow. Something I've rarely have ever done uh, is potatoes in a taco. I'm open-minded, let me give it a shot. Hey, Ridiculous. Right? All right, so last, but certainly not least, they gave us half a dozen of these handmade tortillas to dig into this bad boy. I've prepped my tortilla. I've got asada, shrimp, chile, salsa. I'm not sure what else I, I scooped out. Maybe some chorizos in there, the panela. I'm ready for my bite. All right, so I'm gonna load up this bad boy traditional style by doing the base on the bottom, the beans here. And then let's see here, you got your chorizo, can't miss out on that. This is straight up, make your eyes roll back in your head good. Check this out, I can't miss out on the cebollita. Gotta have that on there as well. All right, let's freaking do this. <laughs> mm. I think it's time to start thinking about booking flights to Jalisco. All right, well, man, that is one for the books. Uh, getting a chance to really explore the, the authentic flavors of Guadalajara. Uh, torta, ahogada, the monster taco, the molcajete. I mean, in that one bowl, you could have like, what? 20 different taco combinations, right? <laughs> I mean, you'd be doing yourself a disservice not to come and try this cuisine. I'm gonna say this place 100% slaps. They're gonna have to take me out of here on a stretcher because I am full, <laughs> full of pleasure and love for this place. It was so damn good. Man, that mocajete, that thing was just beautiful. You see it steaming coming out, the guy bringing it out to your table. It just reminded me when I was a kid and I'd order fajitas and everybody would be poking their head out to see, hey, what'd that guy get? I want that. 
That's the feeling I got tonight with that mocha head there. That's the video. We are the, the Taco, Taco Guys. guys.